Good day folks, Boda Bob here. Hey, um, got a project here, another uh, uh, little bit of maintenance on my Wolf Ridge 28 Pro. So far you've seen me attach a uh, drains it, drain hose to make oil changes better. You've seen me add a uh, SAE uh, terminal connector to the uh, battery so that I can keep it charged up and help extend the life of the battery. And tonight, um, what we're gonna do, let's take a look at the cycle time on my Wolf Ridge. So to do that, I'm not gonna get highly scientific. I'm gonna try to do the best that I can with what I have, and that is my Apple iPhone, and we got a stopwatch. Here's my cycle time, 16.4 seconds, give or take a tenth of a second. Um, so let's call it 16 seconds. And I'll go Recently, I uh, was watching a video from the uh, YouTube channel, Hardworking Man, and uh, he had a friend who has a Wolf Ridge uh, 28C. Uh, it's a commercial version, and he was experiencing slow cycle times. Now, mine's a pro, mine's a non-commercial. According to the book, it's supposed to have 10 seconds cycle time, and I just demonstrated it 16 seconds. At the encouragement of uh, the firewood doctor, um, I reached out to uh, Chris Wolf at Wolf Ridge Manufacturing, and he sent me a new hydraulic pump for the 28 Pro. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna replace the pump. And then um, if you wanna see how to replace the pump on your uh, Wolf Ridge um, log splitter, I suggest heading on over to the Hardworking Man's YouTube channel and check out his page. I'm not gonna go over it. I'm just gonna do it. I'll come back, show you the results after I'm done. That's that, I'm gonna shut the video down. I've got a cold, I've been sick for a week, and I'm still getting over it, and talking is a challenge. So um, I'm just gonna do it off camera, and that's gonna be that, so. All right, I'm back, folks. It's been two days since I uh, removed and replaced the uh, pump on the Wolf Ridge 28 Pro, and you saw the uh, cycle time going out and going back was 16.4 seconds. So we're going to just call it 16 seconds. And uh, here's the old pump. Nothing wrong with it. It's just a little slow, I think. Um, I did the procedure that they uh, talked about over at the hardworking man. I put my shop vac onto this, uh, onto the filler nozzle. And I probably lost about a gallon of uh, hydraulic fluid. Most of it coming from the uh, manifold up here. <clears throat> so the other part that I had a hard time with was this hose here, it's the supply hose uh, to the manifold. It's the high pressure hose. And down here on the pump, I'll show you a picture of it. There's a fitting with a uh, 90 degree elbow on it. I had a hard time getting that out and uh, getting it to the, it has to be up at the 12 o'clock to two o'clock position to line up with the hose. Um, once I got that figured out, um, we were good to go. The main problem was I really didn't have the tools uh, necessary to make that fitting tight enough so that it was pointing in the right direction. But you know that it was uh, able to be overcome, and uh, 
How I did it, I put a pair of vice grips on there and took a cheater bar, some black pipe, put over top of the uh, uh, handle of the vice grips, and then I was able to crank it to the, uh, I guess it's about one o'clock, and uh, the hose is long enough now. So I'd like to thank Chris Wolf at Wolf Ridge Manufacturing for standing behind his product. So let's see what is uh, the new pump that he supplied me. Free of cost, no shipping, nothing. Uh, very uh, pleasant uh, exchange. Um, no hassles. Um, stands behind this product 100%. And that's good. That's saying a lot in this day and age. So thank you, Chris. <coughs> I do got a cold. So I'm going to go ahead, fire this up. We're going to cycle it. And it's already warmed up and uh, we're going to cycle it and see what kind of uh, uh, cycle time it has. All right, I'm showing 11.5 uh, seconds now, which uh, that is a lot better. It's about a five second, four and a half to five seconds faster to uh, compared to the uh, original pump that was shipped. Uh, my understanding is that the, I, I picked this up from uh, the distributor here in Pennsylvania and that's when Chris started to experience some uh, supply chain issues at the uh, starting when COVID hit. Uh, and I guess they got some pumps in that weren't up to their specifications. I'm not sure how that uh, came about, but when I uh, sent Chris a message through his web page, he did not hesitate. He said, you know, the 16 second, 17 second cycle time that I was experiencing was not um, what they were standing behind. So once again, I want to thank Chris Wolf and the team at Wolf Ridge Manufacturing for uh, sending me this new pump. And I can't wait to get out and start splitting wood as soon as I get myself feeling a little better. Um, we're going to get back out in the wood yard. So I want to thank you all for stopping by. Hit that like button, subscribe, and share this video with a friend. And uh, until next time, enjoy the journey. Cheers. Stop recording.